It was in April that all Gibraltar, in a dignified yet festive mood, prepared to greet its new governor. He was a naval man, an admiral of the fleet in fact, coming to take office during yet another turbulent time in the Rock's history. Admiral Sir Varil Begg, GCB, DSO and DSC, came ashore on this proud little land representing Her Majesty, honoured to serve his family with him. Since 1704, Gibraltar has been British. Pressure in one form or another from General Franco's Spain tried to change that unsuccessfully. The Admiral had come knowing that the people of Gibraltar had in no uncertain way said, British we are and British we stay. Under the patriotic eyes of Gibraltarians, Sir Varel Begg inspected the Guard of Honour, aware that ahead of him and the place that was now his home lay many trials and tests of courage. Gibraltar knows the meaning of the word siege. General Franco has now sealed the last land entry to the rock. The sea, however, is still a gateway, and the Admiral is a man of the sea. When he accepted the keys of the fortress, it was more than a symbolic handing over. He took them to keep them safely British, Knowing the strength and fortitude of its people, so well reflected in Chief Minister Joshua Hassan, the new governor and commander-in-chief of Gibraltar began his new role. In the lovely grounds of his home, the governor faces the rock's latest problems in the same manner as the citizens, with calm assurance. There is much to ponder, much to overcome. The burden is a heavy one, but all Gibraltar knows that with the House of Commons solidly behind him, the Foreign and Commonwealth Secretary, Mr. Stewart, made it clear that the colony will overcome General Franco's latest move against it. The scene is a tranquil one, the governor and his family in their garden. But for everyone on the rock, the pressures are great. Initially, the loss of Spanish workers is inconvenient, but emergency plans drawn up in recent months in anticipation of the Spanish action will enable Gibraltar to go ahead with its development program. The governor has a job to do, and all Gibraltarians know that Britain stands squarely with him and them.